On the Secure Act 2.0, and again, we'll put the uh, link in the comments below so you can see all the different parts of the Secure Act 2.0. Uh, interesting section in the Secure Act 2.0 is emergency savings. We see this as a very good feature of the Secure Act. If there's one thing that derails younger investors in uh, their employer plans is they want to invest as much as they can get the match maybe invest extra because they've understood the time value of money and compounding but sometimes when you're younger you have a lot of unexpected expenses and maybe you get a little overzealous in what you're trying to contribute to your retirement plan and then emergencies happen anything like a washer and dryer break or big expensive car repair and if you don't have that emergency savings because you're young and you're just getting started then you may have to get into your retirement plan and pay a lot of penalties and taxes which negates the positive that you were trying to do by participating in the plan in the first place um, the secure act 2.0 as far as emergency savings goes basically is intended to make it easier for younger folks participating in retirement plans to save for emergencies so they don't have to get into their 401k so they don't have to pay penalties and taxes on withdrawals what it does is employers can choose to set it up it's a pension like system after taxes so it's like a Roth and it allows to auto enroll employees up to three percent of whatever their payroll is and that money goes in separate in a separate system than the 401k up to two thousand five hundred dollars per year on an after-tax basis doesn't sound like a lot but that will build over time in addition to their retirement plan that is more hands-off and you can withdraw as an employee up to one thousand dollars per year from that emergency savings account again it's not a big amount but it's just enough of a benefit for younger people to have something available for emergencies so they don't have to make a bad decision to get into their long-term retirement plan and pay unnecessary taxes and penalties for doing so